Hello friends, this is Durga again from Mytiversity, a one-stop store for all the technologies. At this time we are talking about the playlist HDPCD and um, in, in this there are several uh, main modules, uh, data extraction, data transformation and data analysis uh, and under which there are uh, several tasks which you need to master to clear the certification. So the first topic in this uh, data analysis is write and execute a high query and this is the link they have provided and if you try to understand uh, the amount of effort that needs to be put in this this statement is very wide and you need to master several things um, um, in the context of writing quality SQL okay even if you click on this URL if you see here uh, it's pretty big page uh, but uh, in this you need to primarily worry about querying and inserting data if you click on this there is a simple query there is partition based query there is joins aggregations you have to master all these things so it will take at least three to four videos to cover all the topics uh, so that you understand uh, high wind detail and this is one of the most important learning objective in the entire certification so you need to put enough amount of effort if you want to clear the certification. So for this we will be using the same uh, HDP uh, virtual machine or sandbox which we have used earlier. So first let us log in into that. So I am using passwordless login so it didn't prompt for the password. Uh, I have enabled uh, SSH keys and then if you type hive it will launch hive command line interface. And once you log in, you need to make sure that uh, this uh, Hive can talk to the appropriate uh, Hadoop cluster uh, uh, to make sure that you are running queries uh, uh, against a uh, existing running environment. For that, you need to run a command called set fs.default fs. This is from uh, a core set.xml file of Hadoop configuration files. If you just set a fs default fs and hit enter, it will show you the name node uh, URL and IP address. So your cluster should be up and running uh, at this location. And also to validate that, that uh, you are uh, you are able to talk to the name node, you can run a command called dfs. dfs is nothing but a uh, high alias for Hadoop fs. At uh, Linux prompt, you typically run Hadoop fs minus ls and uh, and then you give the path to list the files. Similarly, if you want to do it in Hive, you run dfs minus ls. And uh, let's say this one user root, that is the location against which I want to query the files or list the files. And you can see all the files from hdfs under user root uh, are listed here. So this validates that Hive is able to connect to the uh, name node. Uh, URL which means it have access to the cluster. Now there are several important commands which you need to be aware. Uh, so first one is show databases to list what databases you have and if you go to the learning objective it is all about writing and executing a high query. To write and execute a high query you need to have a high table and those we have already created as part of the pig uh, and demo and also scoop demo we have created those tables uh, so by now you should, if you follow my videos you should have this uh, schema called pig underscore demo and also uh, the sandbox provides you two databases out of the box one is default and the other one is xa demo so you will see three databases if you follow my videos by running show databases and then to list the tables on a uh, particular database you have to just say show tables and hit enter it will list the tables by default you are connected to the default database and it will try to list the tables from there and there are three tables these two tables comes out of the box of sandbox this is the table which you have created as part of the earlier demonstrations so you can query these tables but um, we will be using pig underscore demo for this exercise uh, or for this topic of write and execute a high query so to switch to a database you have to run use command then pig underscore demo and hit enter and then list the tables by running show tables command 
you already have several tables in this so um, if you want to understand the structure of the table you can run a table a command called describe orders orders is the table name you can run it on any of these six tables and it, it will list the columns that present that are present in the table okay now we will use this table to run several queries covering all the important aspects of sql so if you are familiar with sql already you might have heard about select clause from clause where clause uh, group by clause having clause order by clause um, all those things you need to understand um, before getting into the uh, other topics in the context of hive for the certification so first to start with the simple query the simple query have a select clause then either star or column names so we will use the small table there is a table called uh, departments which have only nine records i guess if you do describe departments it has two columns and uh, th then we will also see the data so either you can say select star from departments or you can give all the column names star represents um, all the columns in the table in the same order which describe uh, uh, displays so if you run star it will only give the uh, it will only use the column names in this order if you want to change the order you have to explicitly say the column names like select department department id etc so select star or select department id comma department name will give the same results and then you can give the table name uh, so this is the simple query a simple query will need at least a select clause and a from clause and then hit enter and it will give you the results of your table okay so uh, now for smaller tables this is good enough but for larger tables to preview if you run uh, select star from uh, select column names from the, uh, the table name if it has hundreds and thousands and of records it will display all the records which is not um, uh, productive or which is not eff effective or efficient uh, let's take the example of orders there are four columns in this and if you want to get the count of orders you can run count function so these are called aggregate functions uh, examples of aggregate functions are count sum average uh, and many more there are many such aggregate functions and the reason why i am giving one is you can give anything you can give stars or you can give one uh, they, uh, uh, when you are applying functions like count uh, you don't need to sp uh, specify the column names you can specify the literal also the literal is nothing but a constant so like one or durga if you want you can give any literal or any symbol you can give because count is the aggregate function for each record it will take one irrespective of what is what the parameter is passed and then it will add all those ones to give the count and then you can say from orders to get the count of orders behind the scenes it will run map reduce job to uh, to get this count uh, and uh, retrieve the results so in traditional database also when you run this kind of queries it the query will be compiled into a native libraries by sql engine and those native libraries will actually does the io enter from the operations on the data in hive the native the native libraries are nothing but map reduce libraries so it will use the map reduce libraries to to uh, to uh, uh, to come uh, to to be compiled into and uh, then it will use those native libraries or map reduce libraries to query the data and perform operations on it so once you uh, so we have seen several queries so far we have just saw select star from on departments table or column names from department table and also we have seen a function on orders and if you want to just preview few hundreds of records from orders to understand your data instead of doing select star from orders you can say select star from orders limit 100 if you are from oracle background you see something called ronum so it is similar to that but ronum have uh, less than or equal to you need to say less than or equal to 100 to get 100 rows whereas in uh, any other relational database whether it is mysql postgres or sql server you typically use limit 
sorry sql server it is top and uh, other databases it is typically limit so you can give that and hit enter and it will fetch uh, first 100 records from the database okay so now you can uh, you have previewed the data and uh, um, from here what we'll do is as part of the next video we will define several problem statements and then uh, try to uh, run queries as per the problem statement so that you understand how to write HiveQL as part of uh, learning Hive which is very important uh, for, for your certification purpose. That being said, I hope you are enjoying the content on the channel. If you like this video, please click on the like button. If you want to provide the feedback, please use the comment section of the video. Uh, if you want to discuss further on certifications, please join my LinkedIn group called ITVersity minus certifications and uh, if you have any technical questions go to uh, stack overflow and uh, raise the questions with the appropriate tags and finally if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this over time thank you bye